Hi everyone, so today we are going to be writing paragraph number four in Utah Compose. So this paragraph is going to be talking about the significant events that have occurred in your life. Okay, so I'm going to go back and show you my four square that I created. If you did not watch the video before this and watch me fill in um, box number four, then you need to go back and watch that so you can do that. Okay, so some of the significant events that I listed was my sister being born, okay, starting my career, graduating, and buying a house, okay. So I'm going to go back to Utah Compose. I'm going to scroll down to where it says writing history, and I'm going to click on autobiography. So it's going to take me to my score report. So, so far my score is a 19. I'm going to add paragraph 4. I'm going to see how much my score goes up, go back in and revise it, and then come back and um, submit it so that I can see. So when you submit it, you're submitting it to me. Okay, so we're going to click on the revise button. We're going to click yes. And it's going to take us into our essay. So in paragraph number one, we gave a brief overview of what the reader will be reading about. Paragraph number two, we talked about who we are. So who I am, I'm from Salt Lake, I teach at Plymouth, I'm 26. Okay, things like that. Paragraph number three, we talked about significant people. So I talked about my parents, one of the teachers that's had a significant, um, played a significant part of my life, my husband, my sister. Okay, and then finally, for paragraph number four, we are going to write, <clears throat> and this is our last, like, big detail, we're going to write about significant events. So I'm going to start off with, whoops, I didn't mean to hit that button, finally, comma, the last thing I will be covering is some significant events that have occurred in my life, period, at the end. My sister, Lindsay, being born was a significant event that occurred, okay? Having, and I'm going to use detail, I'm going to add details here. Having a little sister made me grow up faster and become more of a role model for her. Okay, so I had somebody looking up to me all the time, so I wanted to make sure that I was being a good role model. Okay, another event that shaped who I am is graduating. Whoops from the U of U and starting my teaching career, whoops, career, period at the end, okay? By doing this, this is where I'm adding those details, I was able to open more doors and have more opportunities come my way, period at the end. These are all events that have made an impact on me so far in my life, period, at the end. Okay, so that is paragraph number four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit submit, and I'm going to see if there's any errors, okay? I'm also going to look at my score report. So let's see. So far, my score is a 21.2. Now, it does show that there are some um, errors, so I'm going to click the Revise button. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix those, okay, that have occurred. I see what I did. In my life, okay, so occurred twice. If you have to go back and look at it, you can. The other thing I'm going to do is fix U of U and put University... Wow, University of Utah. If you spell it out, the chances are your score is going to be much better, okay? Um, opportunities was fine. There was another occurred, but I can't remember where it was. So I'm going to hit submit and go back and see. So 21.4 occurred. Oh, opportunities was spelled incorrectly. So let's go back. Event that occurred. I was right in that second line there. Occurred having a little sister. Okay, let's see. Opportunities. That doesn't seem to look right, but that's okay. We're going to hit submit. Yes. 
those few little fixes bumped my score to a 21.7. Okay, please make sure you are hitting submit and not save and quit. If you hit submit, then I get the report and I see that you've actually done the work. If you hit save and quit, I don't know that you've done any of the work. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.